today's subscription spot, we are having a look at the Aki Bento for April 2016. Want some anime items delivered to your house every single month? Don't delay. Oh no, don't delay. You can click the link down below and subscribe and get Aki Bento delivered to your house every single month. You can also follow Aki Bento at hashtag Aki Bento, which is A-K-I-B-E-N-T-O. Oh boy, Spot's going to get this opened up and find out what we got in store for us from Aki Bento for April 2016. I hope you enjoy. In order to, the, to, to do that, Spot will have to do one of two things. He'll have to cut the tape on the front, open up the box, and then we can relish in the goodness that will be inside Aki Bento for April 2016. Let's do step number one. Let's do step number two. Let's do step number three. The first thing we are treated to is some snacks. Hello Panda chocolate cream filled cookies. These are from Miji and these are also bite sized. I have not snacked on anything yet this morning. So we're gonna open this up and this will just be kind of like my breakfast snack. Let's find one that doesn't look like it's been mangled here. There we go. You can see the panda on the front there. He looks like he is playing soccer or football. Giving it a bite. It should have the chocolate cream filling inside. Let's find out. Yes, it does. More of a darker chocolate. Not really my thing. I prefer more of a, like a semi-sweet or borderline milk chocolate. It's a little bit darker in flavoring. It's not bad. I'll put that to the side. I'm hungry, so I probably will be eat, snacking away at that over the course of this video. We have an Aki Bento exclusive. An exclusive what? I really don't know. Let's find out. Oh, that's nice. It is a necklace with a sword. It looks like a sword. I'm sure anybody will probably give me a better idea down below. The coloring is almost like a raspberry red and it's on a chain. It is beautiful and I'm not quite certain what series it's from. I like that. It has a good solid weighted feel to it as well. We'll just put that to the side, being very careful. We also get ourselves a t-shirt. And checking the size, size-wise, size-wise, we are okay. We have a black t-shirt with a red symbol, a couple of shadowy figures on the front there. Not quite certain the series, once again, in line with uh, with the little sword necklace that we had to look at. You guys, will, you guys won't let me down. You'll let me know down below. Uh, next, we have a plush. Let's get it completely out. It looks like it's got a little lanyard cord. I'm not sure. Maybe it has sound effects to it. This is from Black Butler. Uh, and to be more specific, it comes from Aniplex. Recommend for ages uh, 15 and up. It looks like she is on her knees. Probably, no, excuse me. It could be possibly a, a gentleman. Gentleman on his knees. And there's a little cable on the back. Let's see what it does. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Let's find out. Does it actually do anything? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Here I am yanking away at it. Probably actually doesn't do anything. Let's see if it actually connects. No, it does not. So it doesn't connect to anything. I'm not sure what purpose it serves, why it has that little cable at the bottom there. Because it doesn't really do anything. Maybe it's a tail. Somebody right now is chuckling, I'm sure. Oh, I can't believe he's pulling the cord. It doesn't do anything, Spot. You should know that. No, I don't. I'm so, I'm so sorry. We have a little plush character from Black Butler. We'll put that right over there. Next, we have a rubber bracelet. This is from Full Metal uh, Alchemist. Uh, to be more specific, Brotherhood. 
is a PVC wristband. This comes to us also from the folks over at Funimation Aniplex. I see a print in here. Let's examine further. Oh, and also there's a pin. Pin is Akibento. This one is entitled Revenge. Revenge is a dish best served cold. It is very cold in space. That's actually not from anime. That's from Star Trek II. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we've got it. Got ourselves a print. With, complete with a certificate of authenticity, this document cert certifies that this drawing is a limited edition print drawn for Aki Bento. The authenticity of this artwork is guaranteed. This is Carissa uh, Pyrut. Carissa Pyrut J. Date March 2016. And lastly, we get ourselves also a card. This one entitled, once again, Revenge for April 2016's box. The back included a scissor necklace inside this month's box, a Miji Hello Panda snack, one of four Full Metal Alchemist or Suzuki uh, wristband, an art print, a one of five Black Butler plushes, Aki Bento monthly pin, and Revenge shirt. This sounds all really good, Spot, but where can I subscribe and get Aki Bento? If you are interested in getting the Acubento, not necessarily Revenge, but Acubento moving forward, you can click the link down below. Today we're having a look at Acubento's Revenge for April 2016. As always, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.